Hello and welcome back to another Horus Heresy painting tutorial. In this video I'll be showing you how you can paint your Space Marines of the Iron Hands chapter in their pre-heresy colours. So here we have the Space Marine who's been primed with a black spray primer. Now this is because it provides a really nice dark base on which we can build up from. Now as you can also see I've uh, kept the bolter arm separate, so I've got the shoulder pad on there. It just makes it a lot easier to uh, paint the chest areas later on. Now the first task in painting this miniature is to apply a uh, kind of a, almost like a wash over the armour of a uh, iron breaker and also lamium medium as well. And we're mixing this into roughly 50-50 quantities. So for this stage I'm using a flat brush as it makes uh, painting uh, these large areas much more easy. We don't need to be worried about being too neat at this stage either. So as you can see I'm being quite liberal in how I apply it. And it might seem like I'm applying quite a lot, but the lamium medium really has watered this down it'll remove, as it dries, it'll make it a lot thinner. Now this will uh, work really well for creating a nice dark metallic colour in which we can build on from in later steps. So now that we've got a really nice uh, base in which to work off, we can now start adding, adding in some uh, tarnishing and grime to the armour. For this we'll be using Agrax Earthshade. For this step, like we did before, we can afford to be quite liberal with the wash. Now we want to really kind of make sure it, it sits in the recesses more than anything. Uh, now this will create a kind of a brownish look on the armor, which isn't too bad at this stage as we'll be adding some uh, more washes in a second, which will uh, darken the overall appearance as well. As you can see, we've made a good start onto the, uh, the weathering at the moment. So what we're going to be doing is applying some more weathering, uh, but focusing this time into the recesses and we'll be using a Beel Tan Green for this. For this stage I'm uh, going to be using a smaller brush as I want to focus this into the recesses a little bit more. I'm going to apply a small amount and then just using my thumb or a tissue or anything uh, else that you might have which is going to be removing it. We don't want it to be too much of the green there so just focusing in the recesses like so and then wiping excess away. Now before we continue with any more washes, we're now going to be applying some uh, uh, rune fang seal across the, uh, the edges of, of the shoulder pads here on the trim, uh, the chest area and also uh, some of the pipes and vents on the backpack as well. For this step I would recommend using a brush that you feel comfortable picking out these uh, thinner areas like here. Uh, and this, will, this kind of result will create a nice contrast, even though we're using uh, entirely metal on the armour, we want to still maintain a good mix of metal shades and colours. So now that we've picked up the lighter metal details, the next step is to wash over the entirety of the miniature again, and this time we'll be using Nuln Oil. So once again I'm using my large brush for this step, and I'm going to be washing over everywhere, both the, uh, the main armour colours and also the detailing that we picked out in the last step. And this will have a dual effect of overall darkening the metal colour, uh, as well as picking out some of the detailing in the lighter areas that we've painted in the last step. Now once the uh, whole area has been washed over, we can now start on highlighting the main sections of the armour. And for this, we'll be using Iron Breaker. For this step, I'm using a smaller brush, just so I can get a finer line along the edges. I'm just going to be gently dragging the brush, just along the edges like so. Just creating a nice, thin highlight of Iron Breaker. Now that concludes painting the armour. Now the next step is to paint the, uh, the kind of the gaps in between the armour segments, which you can see there just at the top of the leg, and also uh, behind the knees as well. I'm painting all of these areas with a bad and black. For this step I'm using my uh, detail brush again, and I'm just going to be very carefully picking out this black, uh, these areas of the black, being very careful not to overspill into the areas that we've already painted. Once the black base layer has been applied, we're now going to be highlighting the uh, the raised edges in these uh, recesses here. And for this we'll be using Dark Reaper. For this step you want to be uh, very careful and use um, the smallest brush that you're comfortable with. You're going to be very carefully picking out these raised sections, leaving the darker set, the darker about black visible in the recesses. Now the next area that we'll be painting on this miniature are the eyes, and for this we'll be base coating them with a Calidor Sky. Now, as with the previous steps, we want to use a uh, smaller detail brush for this step, as we want to be very careful in picking out the lens, as you can just see I'm doing here. Now, to get a realistic looking lens in the helmet there, we want to apply a small highlight just to the bottom, and for this we'll be using get Techless Blue. When attempting this step, make sure you only have a very small amount of paint on your brush, because we don't want to overspill, and the smaller you, the least amount on there is possible. You can just about see the line just forming at the bottom of the lens, like so. Now the next step is very quick indeed, and this is just going to be a quick wash of the lenses with Drakenhof Nightshade. 
The reason for performing this wash is because it blends in the base layer and also the highlights and also applies a nice amount of shading into the recesses of the lenses as well. The finishing touch for painting the lenses is to apply a small dot of a ceramite white and we'll be doing this just in the, uh, the, in the outer corner just so there. In much the same way as we did the original highlight on the lens, we want to uh, make sure we've only got a small amount of paint on the brush and should be very careful in dabbing on that dot there, as you can see. And here we have the completed miniature. Now as you can see I've reattached the arm and glued it down to a base and the only thing that's left to do now is to apply some transfers to the shoulder pads. If you enjoyed this tutorial and would like to see more, do let me know in the comments below and also check out my previous painting tutorials as well. Additionally, if you want to support me in my tutorials, you can do so by heading over to my Patreon page where you can donate to me from as little as a dollar a month. So until next time, thanks for watching and goodbye.